Remember all that fun you had hunting? Chasing down rough growths? Number 10. 10. <laughs> you see that shot? Even I impressed myself. <laughs> stuff, We're going to convert this guy into a mouthwatering stir fry. Rough gross stir fry. Well, seeing some of you guys and girls have been asking for more ideas of cooking gross, partridge, whatever you want to call them, we'll do stir fry. We got three. Gross breasts. Kathy showed you how to take them off the bone so you end up with two halves for each and total of six pieces. And we'll just slice them up and I'll show you how to marinate them. You'll take each piece, cut it very thin, and you're going against the grain. You just continue that for all six pieces, which are three breasts. Sharp knife. As you can see, paper thin, about a sixteenth of an inch. And that's the whole idea behind stir frying. Cooks fast. Fast. High heat, fast cooking, and that's it. Put it in a bowl. To that, we're going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. This particular brand, you could use anything you want. A light soy sauce, you don't want a dark cooking soy sauce. Just a light soy sauce, and then about a half teaspoon to a teaspoon depending how much you like the taste of it sesame oil and then we'll mix. mix it around and cover it with some saran wrap and into the fridge let it sit about an hour should be good I've left it all day tastes pretty good then we'll show you how we quick fry these. So, we'll start off with two stalks of celery. Cut that up. One onion, roughly chopped. Thing about onions too, it's that's your flavor bomb right there. A lot of flavor. When you cook them, they sweeten up. Adds a lot of flavor. This is Napa. Napa cabbage. You could use bok choy if you can't find Napa, but I prefer Napa. We'll rough chop that, not the whole cabbage. Do about six or seven leaves. We got about six or seven, I think there's seven leaves of Napa cabbage. We'll rough chop those. The thing about the leftover, you just wrap the rest up in some saran wrap. This stuff lasts for a long time. I don't know why, but you could keep it in the fridge for quite a long time. So as you can see, got it chopped, the Napa. The thicker rib part, I separate from the leaves because this will go in first. And then this will go in right near the end because that will cook down real quick where this just needs a bit more time. And we got one broccoli crown. 
It's my favorite. I like broccoli in a stir fry. Next thing we're going to add is water chestnuts. Now this is something you could leave out. I happen to like them. That's why I'm putting them in. That's basically what they look like. They're real crunchy. They don't have much taste, but it's the texture. Got a real good crunch to them. And another one you could leave out if you want. I like these little baby corn. We were just at a restaurant in Superior, Wisconsin. Had a stir fry and it had it in there. I don't know, they don't add much taste, but just something different. That's basically what they look like. Little tiny pieces cut up already. Here, I'm going to eat one. Tastes like corn. Could tell they got salt in the water. Okay, we're going to do quarter teaspoon garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon salt. One eighth teaspoon black pepper. And quarter teaspoon MSG. Got to have MSG. There's no good Chinese food without MSG. And half a teaspoon of onion powder. And one teaspoon of chicken bouillon base. And that's your spices. And I julienned two carrots, two medium sized carrots. And I forgot to mention spices. Forgot to mention to add about a half a tablespoon of sugar. You can also add a bit of ginger powder if you're a fan of ginger powder. I left it on clove of garlic, finely chopped, and this will go in at the halfway point. I don't add it in with the onion and everything else, only because garlic has a tendency to burn. And if it burns, it's going to give everything a real off taste. It's not going to be good. Some bean sprouts. Just rinsing them off. Now bean sprouts are just sprouted mung beans. And if you go on YouTube and look up bean sprouts or mung bean, you'll see how easy it is to do it yourself. You're be using home. a thick, dark soy sauce. Now, if you don't have this, you can just use a regular table soy sauce, whatever you have available, but I have the dark, so that's what I'm going to use. And you don't need a lot. It's thick. And you see that shot glass? It's about a quarter full. That's a lot. This goes a long way. Okay, now we're going to do the stir fry sauce, and that's basically tablespoon and a quarter cornstarch. We're going to go half teaspoon ginger. That's just a uh, powdered ginger. And chicken stock. I don't know if you can see that. It's even got the fat in there. Everything goes in the pool. That's your sauce. Put the lid on it. Make sure the lid's on good. Shake it up. And that's your stir fry sauce. Now, if you're going to let it sit for a while, just before you pour it, you're going to have to shake it up again. So, as you can see, I've got everything laid out. I like to be organized. It's laid out as I'm going to use it. And 
and that just makes things go a lot we smoother. We got our heat on high. I'm going to use a couple tablespoons of oil, give or take, and we'll let that get real hot. Make sure it gets real hot. Okay, the oil's up to temperature. Gonna add our carrots. It comes together real quick. It's a nice quick meal. We'll let that get a bit of heat into it. Our onion and celery. Okay, I'm just going to clear a little area and then goes our rough grouse. And because you cut it so thin, it cooks up real quick. And your soy sauce and uh, sesame oil starts getting incorporated throughout. And our broccoli. And we'll let that go for about two minutes. Now we're going to add the garlic. Toss it around. And the coarser part of that Napa cabbage. Next. Boom. Always maintaining high heat, but always moving the food around. And we'll let that cook a little longer. The lighter part of that Napa cabbage. I'm feeding an army, by the way. That's why there's so much. We'll add our corn and our water chestnuts. Dark soy. It's like tar. Now our spices. The MSG is going to work its magic. Our 
on thickener. Don't forget to shake it. Now the pan's going to cool down. Leave it on high. Needs high heat to thicken. Starting to thicken. You see it's going nice, shiny. You know your slurry is thick enough. And then your bean sprouts. They always go in last because they cook real quick. Just want to incorporate them into everything. Mix them around. Some people like to use mushrooms too. Some sliced mushroom. Smells amazing. That's about it. Done. There you have it. Rough grouse stir fry. Took about 15 minutes. The prep takes a while, but that's part of cooking. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. Give it a whirl. Let me know what you think. <laughs>